In 1961, 99 visionary leaders gathered at Arden House on the banks of the Hudson River in New York to realize a dream. They founded an association that from that day forward would be recognized as a leader in aging services. Today, that initial group of leaders includes thousands of not-for-profit organizations like yours that support, enable, and empower people to live fully as they age. Two years ago, the ASA board recognized that ASA's name needed to change to reflect more clearly and boldly our members' vision and values. We began a thoughtful journey to re-examine and define who we are and what we aspire to be for the association, for our members, and for the older people and families we serve and will serve. We began this quest by listening. We asked questions and sought expert advice. We held focus groups. We interviewed our members and state leaders. You told us that you want your association to be the most respected organization advocating for aging services. You expect us to be a distinct, strong voice for not-for-profit organizations. We must be forward-thinking in shaping the future of our field and expand the world of possibilities for aging. Most of all, we must lead. Lead innovative practices to transform how we care for our aging population. Lead cutting-edge initiatives to develop services that meet older adults' needs and preferences. Lead advocacy efforts to influence change in the interest of the aging consumer. The culmination of our research and reflection is our new name, Leading Age. Leading Age is a challenge for our future and an acknowledgement of the leadership path our members have walked together since our forebearers met at Arden House nearly 50 years ago. Leading Age is an affirmation of what each of you does every day, inspire, serve, and advocate based on not-for-profit values. The next 50 years will be filled with unprecedented challenges and opportunities, and we are poised to lead our country to a new and better system for people as they age.